This car's got a hole in the radiator and we heard an old farmer's trick that you can fix it with an egg. Today we're testing five old farmer's hacks to see if farmers know what the heck they're talking about. Oh my God, are you for real? Justin, we sprung a leak. Let's get cracking. Thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Hair loss has been eradicated on Earth, but in a universe where two out of three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, we're on a mission to tackle universal hair loss. For we are Astro Keeps. Thank goodness you're here, Captain Maine. Some space pirate shot out my engine. Can you fix it? I'm Captain Maine and I can do anything. Except for slicing tomatoes. I just always cut those suckers a little too thick, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, yes, we can fix it. Doc Mop, what's the sitch? If my calculations are correct, we could revitalize the engine using keeps. Keeps? Great idea. What in space tarnation is Keeps? Keeps makes hair loss prevention easy by shipping your hair loss medication directly to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Plus, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Wow, you did it, Captain Maine. Ah, uh, not quite. This one's too thick. No, I mean the ship is working. Oh, right, yeah. Go team! Start your hair loss prevention today by going to keeps.com slash donut media or by clicking the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. And check back for another adventure of Astro Keeps. Okay, Justin, here's the situation. You're stuck on the side of the road. You got a leak in your radiator, no tools. The only thing you have is a 12 pack of eggs and the knowledge an old farmer gave you many years ago. So here's how this old farmer's hack works. You take an egg, you crack it, put it into the radiator, and the heat cooks that egg and the high pressure from the system seals the hole up just long enough for you to get to the shop so they can actually fix it. Sounds pretty unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know what? We're gonna try. All right, Justin, we got our hole, we got our egg. Let's see if this hack works. Let's do it. Hey, there he is. All right, now we'll put the cap back on and we'll let this egg cook. And right now it's still leaking, so we'll give it, how long does it take to boil an egg? Well, usually a boiling is in the shell, so. Right, yeah, good like point. Like six minutes. Oh, you boil six. your eggs with the shell? What a weirdo. <laughs> Oh, oh, we gotta, we, uh, 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 no, turn it off. Did it do something? No, <laughs> yeah, it squirted, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still bubbling. No, the hole hasn't stopped. Now we just have egg lubricating our system. <laughs> All right, Justin, we let it sit for a while. Yeah. The egg cooked for sure, because there are little bits of scrambly pieces coming out the hole, but it wasn't large enough to seal the hole. It actually seemed to have made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> so Justin, you need to make a decision. Is this hogwash or is this bussin? Hogwash, yeah. for sure. All right, Jerry, next situation. Mm -hmm. You're out on your farm. Yeah. You're plowing. It starts pouring rain and your wipers don't work. Yeah. What do you use? rain -X. What if I tell you this next hack we found on Reddit says you can replace Ranex with something else? Oh, let's look at this. We got bush mechanic tricks. Fill a sock with chewing tobacco and then tie it off at the end. Obviously, you wouldn't tie it off at the front. And then you soak it in water. Then you wring it out until it's damp, not dripping. That's important. And wipe your window with the sock in the tobacco still inside. He calls it Redneck Rainex. This sounds disgusting. <laughs> it sounds gross, but I'm excited to see if it works. Yuck. Oh. Redneck rain -X. Oh, that's so gross. Do you like then buff it or something? You just gotta let it dry? He didn't say, did he? Yeah, he didn't say. He just said wipe it up there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think we should let it dry for a second and then we'll go get the hose and we'll spray it, compare it to our control oh. slot. Yeah, it stinks. This car stunk already. Yeah, it stinks. It stinks worse now. Okay, Ready? Yeah. Woo! I think it, it looks like it's doing the same thing on both sides, somehow. Somehow that's not entirely worse. All right, stop. It looks the same, yeah? It looks the same. Whoa, yeah. whoa, look. Oh wow, it definitely is hazy. And then that leaves beads, whereas this leaves a mess. 
but while you're spraying the water, I can't really tell a difference. And so obviously this puts some sort of film on type of the windshield, but what do you think? Does this hack work or not? Definitely mm -hmm. not. It's just making a mess. It kind of dried slower, but it didn't work. Now for our next hack is something you guys actually recommended in the comments of our laser rust removal video. But a farmer, he doesn't have 50 grand to throw down on a laser. But you know what he does have, Justin? The bucket of old oil. Fred Price said, I've always just kept a couple gallons of used oil in a bucket. You drop the rusty tool in, grab it out a couple weeks to a month later, depending on the rust level, and wipe it off. Works great. And then this guy, Raymond Fagan, says, Hell yeah, that's an old farmer's trick. I remember growing up, damn near every farm had an oil bucket, usually with some rusty tools soaking in it. Okay, these tools have been sitting in this bucket of oil for three weeks outside. Yeah, apparently all we gotta do is just wipe it off and the rust will be gone. Some brown stuff's some, coming off. Yeah. If anything, it's, it's probably- It just stained it, it just yeah, darkened it. It just kind of like died a little bit, but it obviously doesn't remove the rust. The rust is still there. You can feel it with your finger. You know what? We got multiple tools, so let's try another one. What's up with all these farmer's hacks being gross? Yeah, all, the farmer is like, hey, what do we do with all this huge shit around here? <laughs> okay, you guys tell us. Here's a before picture of this thing, and now here's the after. Do you think it removed the rust? Yeah. So it looks silver again up here on the nose. Yeah, that actually worked pretty good. So I bet you if we left it in there a little bit longer, I bet you it would. Okay, we're gonna make another video in three years. <laughs> so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that video when it comes out. All right, so that wasn't a complete failure, but let's just see what other rust hacks we can do. All right, next hack. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Justin, look at you. I'm here to have fun. Let's see if uh, I can remove some rust. Oh, that's nice. Oh, dude, look. It like instantly took that off. That was insane. People drink this stuff. I know, imagine what this does to your teeth. So I knew this would work because Coca-Cola is super acidic, but I didn't know it would work that fast. Yeah, all that was red before, and honestly, you could accelerate this process with just a little bit of elbow grease. Yeah, but we don't like using elbow grease. You know what we do like using, though? Potato. Now the thought here is that the acidity of the potato and the friction you create by rubbing removes the rust from whatever you're trying to de-rust. And it's removing something because all this gunk is turning brown. Man, Justin's really digging in there. It actually, oh! uh, yeah, it actually dug through it a few spots. Yeah, it did. So if you kept at this, it would actually work. That would take forever. Hack approved. All right, Justin, next situation, you're stranded on the side of the road again. The serpentine belt, it broke. All you got in the car is your grandmother's pantyhose. Now we're gonna see if we can replace a busted old serpentine belt with these. Think it's gonna work? No. I don't know, man, these things are tight. Okay, so we're gonna follow our pulley uh, routing system, accessory belt routing right here on this nice Buick. First we're gonna do, stretch it out, get it in place, and then tie it as tight as we can by ourselves, tie a nice knot, and then turn her over, see if she works. Okay. We're good, we just gotta tie this sucker tight. Oh, no! Look at this, see all the pulleys moving? Uh, I don't think it's moving this crank pulley though. That's the one that kind of freaking matters. One way to find out. Okay, all I took was three dudes in my grandmother's pantyhose for us to get this hose on. Justin, are you ready? I'm ready, Jer. Crank it over! Oh, no. No, it, sk it skipped. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No. Grandma's panties died in vain. Okay, Justin, this one is totally hogwash. Yeah, for sure. No way would this work. All right, Justin, this is our final hack of the day. You've been working on your engine all night. You're putting a new transmission in. You need to pull the pilot bearing, but you forgot to rent a pilot bearing puller. What do you do? You go to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, and get what? <laughs> get, some, bread. get some Wonder Bread, heck yeah. All right, so this is a pretty interesting hack. What you do is you get a bolt that's just bigger than the hole of this pilot bearing, and you stuff bread in there, and you hammer on the bolt, and it squeezes, smushes all that bread in there to push the bearing out. Justin, he used the, the end of the bread, the, 
that's the worst part. Well, you know, if we keep <laughs> this loaf, it, at least, you know, no one has to deal with it anymore. I think this is insane, but apparently it works and we're gonna test it right now. Shall we? All right. All right. Loaf of bread. Right. Get ready. I think this is insane. There's stuff bread in there. Oh my God. No fucking way. <laughs> Are you for real? Dude! I told you. Dude, this is awesome. There we go. Holy heck, Justin. Look at that thing. <laughs> we got the pilot bearing out with bread. Are I you know, kidding me? right? This is crazy. And then to get the bread out, we just get a pick and pull it out. That's it. Put our new pilot bearing in. So where do you rate this, Jeremiah? Is this bussin' or is it hogwash? Dude, this is bussin', baby. <laughs> we just restocked our Buck Horse Ranch tea on donutmedia.com. It's 100% cotton and 100% guaranteed to make you look like a stallion. Go get yours right now. It's one of my favorite shirts. Thanks to all the farmers who passed on this information. <laughs> Both good and bad. Both good and bad. I hope we uh, saved you guys some time by busting some of these farmer myths. Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Y'all have a good one. Yeah.